Hello there, everyone. I am Oversoul53, this is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to Let's Play Oxenfree. Will we finish it this time? Maybe. Where are we going again? All the way down. To Main Street? Oh, the Older Estate. Maybe we should go through the Epiphany Field to get there. Isn't that where we just were, though? I feel like... Yeah. <laughs> hmm... Yeah, maybe we did go the wrong way. Hold on, let me go back. must be, uh, the town. Anyways. I forgot that in the Epiphany Fields area there was another path that goes down that you can use to get over here. Music though. It's funky fresh. Not as funky as funky hurdles music, by the way, but it's still pretty funky. This Data Command Annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed WALL system. A type of radio frequency identification, WALL, standing for Wave Assisted Lock. Okay, okay. I don't want to waste a whole bunch of time listening to all the audio about the different, like, things. That's okay. Oh, I get it. 
We do have to go to the town. I bet you the path that led down was the one that goes down to the beach where we were in the beginning. So, it's the Parks and Facilities building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah, we're... we're close. Oh, I remember this dumpster. We pushed it to get over that thing. That's right, we came through here. To get to the beach. The beach was... Uh, right, right, right. What are you... How did she get up there? What? What are you doing? She's alive. You're, you're alive. Man, I've never been so happy to see you in my Where? life. Where? Oh, she's... Clarissa! What? Alex! Christ, what's wrong with her? Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Okay, just what do you guys want? This isn't... Uh, this is just really lost its charm, I have to say. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something, please? Just try anything. Like, uh... Clarissa! I can... Uh, I'll try, okay, I'll try. Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Alex, come on, just please try and get her down. At least, please, somehow... You think you can control me? Uh, Clarissa. I'm I'm trying to help you. This is this way. Help me. Help me. How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. Don't you uh, there's a ghost in you right now. They're they've like perverted this ghost. Sounds pretty scary, kids. Better leave the night light on. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. <laughs> Is she okay? Or she's... I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> you scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. She be I can... I'm fine. Dead. Okay. Are you sure? Because that didn't look great. <sighs> Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. That was a while ago. How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? Clarissa, you were dead a minute ago. Do you do you realize that? We saw your body, no joke. Really? Okay, well, I'm alive now, so hallelujah. So you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. But I just did what? Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Oh, guys, okay, I know you think we're still playing truth or slap or whatever, but this isn't real, so... Well, wait. Clarissa hasn't gotten a chance to ask something yet, so... Yeah. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother... Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. I'm sorry, okay? I'm... I'm sorry. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. <sighs> okay, Clarissa, come on. I said I was sorry. You don't have to pile on. Come on. Pile on? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right you're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God. The town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. What? Because of her. Like, it would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free, he was out of here, until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last 
God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. You weren't there. No one was there, so how the hell would you know? Everyone knows. Everyone knows the freak sister who let her brother die while she clung scared to the bowline. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough, Clarissa. That's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't believe. Ugh. She is. Seriously. Nona, don't, just don't think of me like. I don't, just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is going to get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh, Carissa, what are you- All the outs in free. Oh, shit. Hey. Whoa. Man, do you ever- do you ever get deja vu? Jeez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Boy. Uh, I guess you don't remember, like, anything that just happened, right? Um, to what anything are you referring, exactly? Uh, Clarissa being possessed and shrieking at me would probably be the big kahuna here. I... huh. I sort of can picture Clarissa being, like, weird or something, but I don't know. It's kind of a blur, to be honest. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is, like, right there. So, let's try and whatever our way in. I like how she said right there, but the subtitle said right here. Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. The lock looks pretty worn. Bust our way through? What is that supposed to mean? I think we should try it. Alright, let's do it. <sighs> oh, okay, well, that didn't take much. Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think think, but it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Huh. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says they're wall radios, wave assisted lock, whatever that means. Uh, oh, duh. It says right oh, here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around it. here. So they're like ID tags or something. Uh, okay, cool. Great. Ooh, wait. Wait, here's like a, wait, what is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just want to... Okay, here. To whom... Steal a boat and leave. Okay, <laughs> sounds like a plan. Let's hope we can actually accomplish it. Who is should concern? This island and its history is a lie. What? Jeez. She didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? What could that mean? I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Forces outside our control? Like, like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? Let me finish then. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within, and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! <laughs> wait, wait. To whosoever finds the material. Know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. Huh. And truly for the interest of time itself. Margaret Adler. Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah, we've all had the mechanical unicorn dream. But I think I'm ready just to go home, to be totally face up with you. So, we could just go home, or we could follow the clues. a bit more in the town and see if there might be 
might be something worth mentioning here. A part of me really wants to find all these clues and see what the secret is of Edward Island. Oh, 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 oh! I'm getting somewhere. I'm getting somewhere. It's green. Oh, I found it, something. Oh my god, the, the Kamaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? We, we've been lied to all this time. Oh, I found one of the first truths. Uh, ba 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 huh. Maybe that's one of the things. I think we're just gonna go ahead and finish it. Like, anybody who wants to find out, like, all the secrets, I'm like, I'm gonna come back and do this again, you know? And I'm sure there's somebody who will have played this and will have found all the secrets to the island, but I would like to see the ending. There's gotta be more to it, though. Like, just the main story, too, you know? Hmm. <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? Uh, what? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. The sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now, but... See, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was going to be like overcast. Uh -oh. He said there was a chance for uh -oh. clouds. Uh -oh. They're making hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick -knack. No, I mean, in this time period. Ah, oh, geez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? It's like the worst time. You're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead? I think she's talking about the... Oh, the, the car? No, they don't... Listen, Mom and Dad know. They don't care. Well, I mean, they cared a little. No, no, no. You... You, you drowned in in Horn Lake, back at home. Yeah, and last week I died in the fire, right? You keep having these nightmares because you eat mom's cookies like right before bed. And anyways, I'm gonna teach you how to swim at the pool in the park, so don't worry about it. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. This is really quite insane, what's happening right now. I'm just Sorry that apparently nobody realizes how insane this well, is. Well, because I know, right? Nobody really appreciates it when conditions are this good. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. These ghosts are going to make her relive the death of her brother, and that's bogus. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've, um... i Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> Can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. Oh, God. So... Uh, <laughs> if I were to ask you if you were, um, past Clarissa, that wouldn't make any sense to you, right? Past Clarissa? Like, like, am I past the name Clarissa, or...? No, I mean, like, 
Like there's a past and a- And a future, okay, a, a future Clarissa. Um, you're right, it doesn't make any sense. Sorry. Uh, um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I um, totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. So apparently you love me. Is that right? <laughs> well, if I don't, I don't know why I got you that skateboard for your birthday. You skate? Not yet. Yeah, and the no helmet part kind of sends a message, right? I'm not one for subtlety. So, this is I actually really want a cold dad. something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... No thanks. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things are bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet. And hey, hey, look. First of all, Mom and Dad are Mom and Dad. They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. It's not going to be fine. It's not going to be fine. I I know how this goes. I have insider information. Let's just call yeah, it, okay? Her parents must Look, have split after just because Michael Janie's died. parents got a divorce and made poker nights super uncomfortable doesn't mean ours have to too, all right? And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just... Don't get all smoochy smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. You know what, Bucko? I need it more than uh -oh. you. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Well, that was a nice trip down memory lane. Thanks, ghosts. Alex, are you... All right, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for 10 minutes. I was about to, like, slap you or scream or something. Nona, I, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he... I was... It was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Wow. Right now? Yes, right now. Oh, another older letter. I didn't know Maggie grew up in Maine. They're just sitting around. Maybe you really don't have to look that hard for them. Uh, uh, there's a statue of a soldier in Maine. Memory, blah, 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 blah. That didn't really reveal any secrets about the island, though. I'm going to assume that, like, okay, so we know that 
All right, so here's what we know so far. We know that there's ghosts. We know that this is an old army base. We know that there was some lady named Adler. We know that Michael is dead. Um, Clar uh, Clarissa may or may not be dead. Um, weird shit's happening. Uh, and we know that uh, I think the ghosts... I think the ghosts... Here's what I think happened. So, like, I think that there was... Because they mentioned something about friendly fire. I think some, some of these soldiers turned on their base and they like attack them or something from the water and killed a bunch of them remember how they said that submarine with passengers and soldiers was sunk some of the innocent civilians got caught in this i think these ghosts are out for revenge because they were all wrongfully murdered in some kind of war um at some kind of war turned south when one of their allies betrayed them or something like that is what it seems like so but I didn't uh, expect this part to go this long. I thought we were getting... I mean, I know we're close to the end. I thought we might have ended it here, but I guess not. So maybe the next episode will be the last one. Who knows? For, I'm so sorry. I'm talking to you guys, and I was just looking at the microphone instead of the camera for some reason. I should probably learn to sleep a little more. All right. So anyways, that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I am over Soul 53 this is over soul gaming you've been fantastic and i will catch you possibly on another day definitely another time and likely in another video okay goodbye